Everything okay? Yes, I have made arrangements for Lord Klein's funeral, although the ceremony will be brief. How could this have happened? The arrow that took my master's life was of a unique design, one used only by Noctagall's personal guard. And considering the timing of the army's invasion, it's obvious this was all a plot by Noctagall. The assassination allowed him to seize complete control of Roshagal. Noctagall does think big. I wonder where they took Mila and the others. Fort Gandala, most likely. A single division of troops couldn't possibly attack multiple cities in a short time. It's reasonable to assume that Sapstrath's Sea Haven remained safe and under Cheryl control. Thus, our attackers must have been ordered to return to Fenmont, and Fort Gandala is the only place equipped to house troops between here and there. Good thinking. Makes sense to me. We have to save them! I like your moxie, kid, but we're talking about a fortress here. It's not like we can storm the walls. On the contrary, we do need to rush. Tonight may be our only chance. The morale among those troops was visibly low, and now they've been forced to march home after battle with no rest. They'll be at their weakest. And don't forget we have a trump card ready and waiting. That's right! The men we sent to infiltrate the fortress! We should depart at once. A butler, huh? Who is this old man, exactly? I can't believe they got Mila. Are you so surprised? These are the same thugs who snared the Four Great Spirits. And I let the same thing happen again. Let's get moving, gentlemen. We can't afford to suffer any more losses. Aren't you listening? These guys are way out of our league. Don't be ridiculous. They haven't a chance. Especially against a warrior of your considerable talent. Hmm? Didn't take you for the sort that props up comrades with sweet talk. That depends on the comrade. Does it seem to be working? A nice effort, but uh, I only fall for flattery when it comes from the lips of a lady. Then let's go save Mila and the others. I'm sure they'll praise you. Oh yeah? Well then, I guess I'll put out a little effort. Excuse me, sir. I just wanted to say how great it was seeing someone stand up against those soldiers. Don't you work for the governor? I do indeed. I am Rowan Ilbert, the Cheryl family butler. Well, you really stuck it to them earlier. They should be ashamed of themselves for attacking civilians. Let alone kidnap women and children. At least they scattered off afterwards. I guess they're not used to having someone challenge them. They did seem a bit disorganized. Maybe their morale is low. That may very well play a part. But the main reason they ran off is because they hadn't been ordered to kill us. If they had, would they have done it? Even despite their misgivings? That's what soldiers do. That's what all grown-ups do. Working isn't supposed to be easy. I guess so. Whenever I enter a place like this, I can't help but imagine someone blocking off the other end. I'm not liking this wind. It's messing up my hair. We never miss our targets, especially the ladies. So this is Fort Gandala. It looks like a steel castle. It was built to protect the trade routes, ostensibly anyway. But now it would seem they have abandoned all pretense. So how do we get in touch with your man on the inside? Follow me.
Jude, I need you to climb into that shaft. Tap on the wall once, twice, and then twice again. If you hear three taps followed by one, that means everything is ready. I got the go sign. Good. Let's proceed. Please hurry! Good work. You have my gratitude, and that of the late Lord Klein. Everyone in the fortress has heard what happened in Sherilton. It's hard for any of us to come to grips with this. I'd offer my shoulder to cry on, but we're kinda in a hurry here. What's going on inside, the short version? Uh, of course. Lady Drussel and the others are locked in a cell on the second floor. But that's not the worst of it. All the prisoners have had their legs bound with hex shackles. And those are? If anyone wearing one of those shackles steps across a hex zone like the one over there, then it's designed to explode. What? So even if we free them from their cells, they won't be able to escape until we can disable those shackles. It would take far too long to track down the keyholder. I suggest we seize the fortress's control room instead. Then we can deactivate the whole security system. We've been unable to pin down the control room's location. I'm sorry. Don't worry. We'll figure the rest out. You've been a huge help. Not to put the car before the horse, but we should make sure we have a way out of here. Would you see to our escape plan? Yes, sir. We'll commandeer a carriage. Here, you'll need this key. It allows you to operate the elevators. The fort has four symmetrical floors surrounding a large central passage. Be careful not to get lost. How would a butler possibly know that? Just who are you? That was way too close. Very impressive. You too. I believe we show great promise. Oh dear, I felt that in my back. Cut your blade! Cut your blade! Now! 
That soldier had a key on him. I believe it will grant us access to the control room. I thought you said hunting for keys was a waste of time. Life is full of surprises, mercenary. Lessons from a butler. Just what I needed. Going to put an end to your petty ambitions right now. Uh, so is this girl really supposed to be the Lord of Spirits? Oh, please, don't make me laugh. Uh, uh. Are you all right, Mila? With the Lance of Kresnik, know that I will bring Arshul to its knees! That's why you invaded Sherilton? How can you keep committing these atrocities? Silence, boy! These matters are not meant for children such as you! How dare you! You didn't really think you could stop me, did you? <laughs> hmm? Ilbert, is that you? Rowan Ilbert? Wait, what? The Ilbert from the history books? Ilbert the Conductor? I knew he was more than just an old butler. What business could one who cast aside both his army and his kingdom have here? Lady Dursel, I'm so pleased to find you safe. I was beside myself with worry. Huh. You have fallen far, Ilbert. But your new role as a servant suits you. Your Highness, this way. You need not trouble yourselves with these criminals any longer. Here. Mila! Damn it. Get out of our way! No now, shall we begin? No break. Hit! Rowan! Understood. Slash me! Oh, oh your blade! Step ahead. Seven feet! Hold your blade! Yup! How's that for an old man? Come on, Tipo! Wake up! Not talking, huh? His batteries could put. We need to get this door open. Mila needs us. Everyone listen up. We are out of options. I must obliterate the art runes that control the facility. Doing so will open the doors and deactivate the hex shackles. But this fortress is huge. Its control inscription must be incredibly complex. Can you really destroy it? Not on my own. I'll open a channeling circle. Everyone, pour your mana into it. Ready yourselves. <sighs> Even 
even with all five of us, we're still coming up short on mana. Whatever we do, we need to do it quick. Mira's in trouble! Wake up, Tipo! We need you! Wait, Jude! Morning, Super Pals! What did I miss? You're back! Your Highness, this way! Away! You can't be! Mila! You two all right? What's wrong? She's... Elise! You have to heal her! Quickly! <sighs> <laughs> she doesn't look so good! She's all busted up! Come on, Mila! Open your eyes! Why? Why did this have to happen? I wish I could say... There they are! The escapees! Get them! Time to go. Nothing else we can do here. Let's get her back to Sherilton. Stop them! Activate the golems! Quickly! I saw the young madam to her chambers. She is utterly exhausted. What do you expect? As if being captured by goons and tossed into prison wasn't exhausting enough. She learned her brother died too. She apparently heard of Klein's fate when she was taken. She is surprisingly calm given the circumstances. Jude, how's Mila? She was fortunate to have someone with medical expertise nearby. And your healing arts were a real boon. They helped stop the hemorrhaging. She has lost a great deal of strength, however. These next few hours will be crucial. Please, get some rest, everyone. I'll take good care of her. Shouldn't you rest as well, Doctor? You've been using spirit arts all day. You must be exhausted. Now hold on a second. I can say the same of you. The young man can handle this. Please, Doctor. This way. Is everything going to be okay? Mila's gonna die? She'll pull through. I know she will. You all should get some rest, too. I want to help, too. If it's okay with you. Thank you. This isn't my specialty, so I'm gonna turn in. Okay. I wonder what they're talking about.
It would seem the worst is over. Yes, she's breathing normally again. I think she'll be okay. Now it's your turn to get some rest. Just as soon as I tell Elise and Alvin. Oh, there you are. Thank goodness. Now we can thank Mila for the jailbreak! Yes. Where's Alvin? I'm not really sure, now that you mention it. I'll go find him. Oh yeah? Well then, I guess I'll put out a little effort. Excuse me, sir. I just wanted to say how great it was seeing someone stand up against those soldiers. Don't you work for the governor? I do indeed. I am Rowan Ilbert, the Cheryl family butler. Well, you really stuck it to them earlier. They should be ashamed of themselves for attacking civilians. Let alone kidnap women and children. At least they scattered off afterwards. I guess they're not used to having someone challenge them. They did seem a bit disorganized. Maybe their morale is low. That may very well play a part. But the, the arrow that took my master's life was of a unique design. One used only by Noctagall's personal guard. And considering the timing of the army's invasion, it's obvious this was all a plot by Noctagall. The assassination allowed him to seize complete control of Roshagall. Noctagall does think big. I wonder where they took Mila and the others. Fort Gandala, most likely. A single division of troops couldn't possibly attack multiple cities in a short time. It's reasonable to assume that Sapstrath Seahaven remained safe and under Cheryl control. Thus, our attackers must have been ordered to return to Fenmont, and Fort Gondala is the only place equipped to house troops between here and there. Good thinking. I can't believe they got Mila. Are you so surprised? These are the same thugs who snared the Four Great Spirits. And I let the same thing happen again. Let's get moving, gentlemen. We can't afford to suffer any more losses. Aren't you listening? These guys are way out of our league. Don't be ridiculous. They haven't a chance. Especially against a warrior of your considerable talent. Hmm? Didn't take you for the sort that props up comrades with sweet talk. That depends on the comrade. Does it seem to be working? A nice effort, but uh, I only fall for flattery when it comes from the lips of a lady. Then let's go save Mila and the others. I'm sure they'll praise you. Everything okay? Yes, I have made arrangements for Lord Klein's funeral, although the ceremony will be brief. How could this have happened? Makes sense to me. We have to save them! I like your moxie, kid, but we're talking about a fortress here. It's not like we can storm the walls. On the contrary, we do need to rush. Tonight may be our only chance. The morale among those troops was visibly low, and now they've been forced to march home after battle with no rest. They'll be at their weakest, and don't forget we have a trump card ready and waiting. That's right! The men we sent to infiltrate the fortress! We should depart at once. A butler, huh? Who is this old man exactly? <laughs> 